Hello, hello, and welcome to day 23 of 30 Days of Yoga. We're gonna to begin today's practice a little bit differently than we have in this journey. Yesterday I mentioned that we'll be doing a little bit more back bending this week, but it's hard to just kind of jump into a back bending practice when we only have 15 minutes. So we're gonna use some props and a restorative shape to help us, help nudge us in that direction of opening the front of our body. So you'll wanna have a blanket or towel or two or three if you really want to make it a bit more deeper of an expression and you'll fold it up um, either once or twice I've got a long fold here and then a short fold you might decide that you would rather um, fold your blanket or if you're using a towel and it's a rectangle fold it horizontally and then vertically but whatever you decide fold your blanket to be a support for your spine as you lie down on your back. So your head's gonna be off the blanket and your hips are gonna be off the blanket. And this blanket is just gonna cover the back of your heart and the back of your ribs, which is a good amount of space, right? So don't be stingy like a really narrow blanket roll. Give yourself a good, solid, wide support system. And you might wanna make it really subtle, like I have here, just one or two folds of whatever you're using or you might want to stack two or three up like that to give yourself a more a deeper supported back bend so lie down on whatever folded blanket or towel you have and let's jump in together friends and do some yoga I hope you are thoroughly enjoying this moment of rest at the start of today's practice, especially after all that upper body work we did yesterday. Maybe you decide to place your hands on your body to connect with the feeling of your breath. Well, let's just take these opening moments to remember the presence of the Lord with us. Rabbi Abraham Heschel, um, is, is one of my favorite teachers and authors, and he writes a lot about awe and wonder. And I want to read to you something that he wrote, and I want to just sort of shape today's practice and continue to shape the theme of this week. He says, Dear Lord, grant me the grace of wonder. Surprise me, amaze me, awe me in every crevice of your universe. Delight me to see how your Christ plays in 10,000 places, lovely in limbs and lovely in eyes, not his, to the Father through the features of men's faces. Each day enrapture me with your marvelous things without number. I do not ask to see the reason for it all. I ask only to share the wonder of it all. Holy Spirit, stir within us a holy awe and wonder at your marvelous presence, at the gifts of these bodies and this breath and the way that they help us know you more. Be glorified in our practice today. Amen. Big breath in. And out. All right, extend both your legs up to the ceiling. You might find that this feels really good or um, kind of like a stretch. <laughs> We're not going to make anything more than just a moment to throw our legs up in the air, to see our feet, and also just to roll our ankles. So really slowly, we, we tend to like speed through this, but go at like a snail's pace. Roll your ankles in one direction, listening to all the sounds they might be making. And then really slowly start to roll your ankles in the opposite direction. Nice. Hug your knees now into your chest. Squeeze them in. And then take your knees over to the left side of your mat. Kind of scoot your bottom hip under your top hip as you widen your arms. Maybe you look over to the right side so that you're in this reclined spinal twist. Slowly bring your knees back to the center and then take them over to the right side. Again, sliding your bottom hip under your top hip so that your hips are nice and stacked. And then as much as you're able to widen the space between your shoulders. 
Let your breath help you soften in and let go. To help you start to cultivate this sense of awe and wonder. Okay, draw your knees back up to the center now. Hug them in towards you. And then start to roll forward and back along the length of your spine two or three times until you come to sit upright on your mat. And grab your blanket that you were just lying on and maybe you fold it up once again and, and slide it underneath your seat so that you've got a little bit of a throne to sit on. Feel your spine get long. And then three times as always, lift your arms over your head with your breath in and with your breath out, draw them together in prayer at your heart. In your own words, welcoming in the awe and the wonder of God's goodness. Linger for a still breath. Good. And then interlace your fingers. Flip your palms out away from you and stretch them up to the ceiling as you lengthen through the sides of your waist. Keep reaching your tailbone down behind you. And then see if you can arch the top of your back and your neck so that you're in a little bitty cow. And then as you exhale, palms come forward as you round your spine for cat. Twice more. Inhale for cow. This time let your tailbone also reach back so your whole spine is arching. And then as you exhale, round your spine. Make space between each vertebrae. Inhale to lengthen up. And exhale to round forwards. Good. Keep your hands interlaced like this. Keep them over your head. But now bring your palms together and extend your pointer finger. Fingers. Good. And now tip over to the right side. And with your right hand, pull on your left hand so that you can find a little bit more space through the side of your left um, torso. And then back up to the center and tip over to the left, pulling on your right hand to help make a bit more space on the right side. Lovely. Back to the center. Keep your fingers interlaced, but now bring them right in front of your heart. All 10 fingers interlaced and just circle your wrists around here in one direction. Good, and then circle them around slowly in the opposite direction. Nice. All right, release your fingers, shake them out, and then make your way into downward facing dog. Pedal your heels here. Dear Lord, grant me the grace of wonder in my body, in my breath, in the stress of today, in the craziness of this world. Grant me the grace of wonder. Walk your feet to the top of your mat and hang in a forward fold. We're going to go slowly through one sun salutation to warm up our body. So as you breathe in, stand all the way up, reaching your arms over your head. And as you exhale, hands come together in prayer. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, bow forwards into your fold. Breathe in to lift halfway up. And then exhale to plant your hands, step back to plank. Lower halfway or all the way down to the mat. Breathe in, lift up for a cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale back into downward facing dog. Now we're going to do something else we've never done in this series so far, which is step forward from downward facing dog. And I, I don't always love this transition, but we're going to play with it today. So we'll start by stretching our left leg up. See if you can find some length through the front of your left leg. And then curl your left knee into your chest and bring your shoulders over your wrists and then step your left foot down. Now, wherever it lands, be okay with it landing there unless it's like way far back. Then maybe use your hands to help it come forward a bit so it's under your chest or between your hands. And then keep your right hand on the floor. Stretch your left arm up. Twist over to the left side towards your bent knee. Good. Now plant your left fingertips and we're going to come into a warrior three, but keep your fingertips on the floor. So lift your right foot off the mat and start to straighten your left leg. Good. Now listen closely. We're going to come to stand up, but keep your right foot off the floor the whole time. So lift your fingertips off the mat, start to lift your chest up and then bring your right knee up with you and grab a hold of your right knee with both hands. Take a moment to stabilize yourself, to find your balance. Good, and then put your right foot down on the mat. Inhale, lift your arms over your head. 
and then exhale hands together in prayer. Now lift your left foot off the mat, grab a hold of your left knee with your hands. I find that flexing my lifted foot helps me balance. Lengthen your tailbone down and away. Now bring your left hand to your hip, keep your right hand on your knee and start to twist your chest over to the left without twisting your whole lower body. Maybe you stretch your left arm back behind you. Beautiful. Keep your left leg lifted, turn your chest back to the center, reach both arms up to the ceiling and step your left foot back for a high lunge. So nice. Good. Okay, now two options. We're going to twist here, but I want to give you two twist options. Option A is an open twist where your arms are wide like a T. We've done this before in different shapes. Option B is a closed twist where you'll bring your hands together in prayer and you'll hook your outer left arm to the outside of your right thigh. So twist now over to the right side, either variation. If you're doing a closed twist, see if you can turn your chest to meet your thumbs Good. Now listen closely. No matter what twist you're in with your arms, your arms will stay the same, but we'll step our left foot forward to meet our right so that we're in a chair twist. So bring both feet together, but stay twisted to the right side. See if you can sit a little bit deeper and then inhale, stand all the way up mountain pose, stretch your arms overhead and then exhale hands together at your heart. Okay, pick up your right foot now. Hold on to it with your hands. Flex your right foot. And now step your right foot back and we'll land in warrior two. So spin your right heel down. Good. With both feet on the mat, reverse your warrior. Tip it up and back. Big breath in. And then as you exhale, bring both hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Either flow here for vinyasa or just meet me back in downward facing dog. So nice. All right, same set of shapes, other side. We'll start by extending our right leg up and back. See if you can get longer through the front of your right thigh. And then step your right foot forward as you round your spine, bring your shoulders over your wrist and lower your foot down. Wherever it lands is okay, but see if you can get your whole foot on the floor and reach your right arm up now so that you're twisting over to the right side. Good. Notice it's like your whole lower body moved with you. Keep your lower body still. Just twist through your upper back. Nice. Plant your right fingertips now and we'll come into a warrior three. So lift your back foot off the floor. Start to straighten your front leg. Really flex your left foot to help you balance. And now float your hands off the mat. And remember, we'll stand up, but keep that back foot lifted the whole time. Bring your left knee forward. Hold on to it. Take a moment to find your balance and then plant your left foot down. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, this time lift your right leg off the floor again. Hold onto it with both hands, find center. Find some place to fix your gaze. And then bring your right hand to your hip as you keep your left hand on your knee and twist over to the right hand side. Good, maybe you extend your right arm back behind you. Really nice. Slowly untwist back to the center and send your right foot back for high lunge. So plant the ball of your right foot, both arms lift overhead. Lunge twist now to the left. So either that open variation or that closed variation, but do the same that you did on the first side here on the second side. Twists build a lot of heat. They, they get into the part of our body that likes to go and do and, and work and achieve. So in the midst of that, can you surrender? Can you marvel? Can you sense the awe of it? Okay, keep your twist shape, but step your back foot forward so that you're in a chair now. Stay in the heat. Sit a little bit lower. Draw near. And then untwist. Stretch your arms up. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more time, lift your left foot off the mat and then step it right back for warrior two. Plant both feet, feel that sense of groundedness. And then as you inhale, tip up and back to reverse your warrior. And then as you exhale, plant your hands on the mat, step back to a plank, move through vinyasa or meet me back in downward facing dog. 
Good. Once you're in downward dog, lower your knees, slide your feet out in front of you and come to sit down on the mat. Uh, if you've got your blanket nearby you, slide it under your hips. See that both of your feet, knees, toes, ankles are pointing straight up to the ceiling. Feel your low back get long. Big breath in here. And then as you exhale, crawl your fingertips forward so that you are in a seated forward fold. I hope you I hope you know by now that, that the goal is never to touch your toes or fold yourself in half like a piece of paper. The goal is to draw near to the Lord, to lovingly pay attention to the sensations in our bodies and use these shapes to help us pray. Lord, grant me the grace of wonder. Surprise me, amaze me, awe me in every crevice of your universe. I do not ask to see the reason for it. I only ask to share in the wonder of it. Slowly come back up to sit. Cross your legs in front of you. We'll close together by placing your right hand over your forehead, your left hand over your heart. How might the Lord inspire awe and wonder in your thoughts today? How might you cultivate awe and wonder in your heart? Right hand finds your belly. Deep breath in. How might you cultivate awe and wonder here in your belly? Bring your right hand to meet your left. Reach your arms down to your sides, palms up as a sign of surrender. A surrender of knowing it all and understanding it all and choosing instead to marvel at the pure beauty and majesty of your goodness within and around us, God. We thank you for the gift of this practice. Amen. I am so, so grateful for our time together on the mat today. It's such an honor to hold this space with you and draw near to the Lord alongside of you in our bodies and in our breath. You've heard me talk about this before and invite you into it before, but I want to just extend the invitation again today to come and join me in the Yoga Abbey, our online yoga sanctuary where we dive deep into more yoga, more meditation, deeper community, spiritual direction, all these spiritual disciplines to help us really embody our faith. We're there to help you go deeper and to walk alongside you in this journey. So if you've enjoyed this practice and want more, come and practice with me and many other beautiful, brilliant instructors in the Yoga Abbey. We have a few more days together, so I will see you back here on your mat again soon.